<laughs> we're back and we're just been to hospital. That is a very nice design there. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's still in your uniform, shirt coat. Uh, still feeling tired from last night. Still feeling tired. This is how much coffee mum's drunk in already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even I'm in the front seat. Oh, on our way home. This is Dad's wonderful driving skills. <laughs> so you're, do you still have wonderful driving skills, darling? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Ah, hi. Let's turn left. Look at all these trees, all green now. All beautiful. And he's pretty beautiful too. Right, I had dinner now. I might just have some of the on my mouth. I don't know, do I? Uh, so you're taking videos up, but I filmed this afternoon. We got to the hospital and they managed to tell me what this is or what they think it is, but I'll talk to them about that more because I need to eat lemon yogurt and ice cream. I'm watching, oh, what's he called? Uh, that's his username. And I've just started watching some of his videos. <laughs> He's re reviewing Norm of the North, which is a film that I really didn't like the look of. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Before we have our dessert, I need to show you the two things I got in the charity shop. My, I might have seen them already. Okay, the first one is a video. And that is the Beyblade video. Now, I have watched a couple episodes of this. And I just picked this up because in the basket it, they were giving them away from, for free. I guess they accept videos from people, our charity shop, like the church one. But they basically just put them in a basket and say, you know, grab one, you know, they're all free. I thought, well, this is anime, you know. Any anime that I can get for free, it's brilliant. And the other thing I got, which just shows my quirkiness. As you see this lovely lemur, this lovely cute soft toy lemur, but there's something different about her. I mean she does have bags of personality. That was such an awful joke. So yes, she's part bag as well. She is a ring-tailed lemur, so I make her a girl. Now she is a bag, but she doesn't have that much space um, in the little compartment. There's actually not that much space. And if and my phone won't fit in there because my phone is obviously bigger than my old one, it won't fit. Well, it fits like that. <laughs> so I'll probably just use her when I'm going to the shops quickly. I will definitely use her as a bag because, well, that's her whole point. She does have some purple markings here, but that's okay. Got that for one pound. Well, Mum got that, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, right, I'm going to vlog here and then I'm going to talk about what happened at the hospital after dessert. Right, so dessert is finished and I'm ready to tell you guys what happened. Now, I'm not going to go into much detail because obviously in these vlogs, I do let you know about my life, but I don't reveal everything. And what's, what happened? We got there, she did a few tests. And then she basically said, is something no, no, neurological, I can't say that word, which is good. That was the best news we could hear. I was pretty sure it wasn't because I felt myself up there. It sounds so silly, but I know my body and I was pretty sure there wasn't anything up there. Of course, there was still that lingering worry, of course, because, you know, you don't know what this is. Turns out she thinks, she gave me actual definition but she said it quite fast and I remember her basically saying it's stress which really sort of hit me hard because I believe that so far I've been dealing with any stress 
pretty well compared to last year but this happened about two months ago and nothing serious happened but there has been this serious thing that has happened for nearly a couple of years it's been bothering me but I guess I've always sort of just brushed it to the side I haven't talked about the people because I don't like to and it's a bit funny I'm a private person yet I'm putting this out on YouTube but I am quite a private person so I don't like telling people many things about my personal life about what's going on because I have this worry that if I say something's up it depends on who I'm saying it to. If I'm saying it to someone I first met you know I tell them this is up I don't want them to see me as weak or to see me as an attention seeker which I know people don't but it always goes through my mind because you know I overthink a lot of things but that's always just been my personality I've always overthink things to the point where everything I look back and go what the fudge you know that was such a small situation or if I'm with friends and I tell them what bad things are happening in my life then I feel like they can't come to me with their problems when something does come up with them because I want to support them I want to be a friend and I think it hasn't happened deliberately but I remember when I was in year 10 no year 11 sorry I used to hang around hang around with these girls in year below they're all my friends friends I was friends with some of them so I guess I'll call them friends as well but our table every time we sat down at lunch there were a couple of them who were going through some problems I had no idea what they were and I didn't want to know because they didn't want to tell me which was fair enough but everybody would be so kind of miserable on the table and even though during year 11 something propped up before I went into year 11 which I believe is sort of the main cause of the stress um, it popped up and I wanted to tell people about it, I wanted to tell them what's up but there was a couple people or even other people going through really tough stuff and we'd be sitting there hanging out at lunch and everyone would be miserable and frowning and not really wanting to talk you know just being miserable and that's fine but I was like, I don't, I don't, want, I don't want that. I, I don't want this table to be miserable. So I'd smile. I tried to sort of not cheer people up on that table, but I wanted to at least be, I wanted to be at least one person that was going to be happy on that table or supposedly, by the way, they're looking. Maybe they weren't sad. Maybe they were fine. They were just a bit quiet. Um, but a couple of them I seen were going through quite rough patches in their lives and one of them I'm not going to say who and I don't really want to say much about that person because I don't think that person watches my videos at all we're not friends but that person will be more than happy to talk about her problems which is fine but as I said before like even though she wasn't my friend because she was saying about her problems I felt like if I threw my problems into the middle like everyone else seems to be doing then it would sort of just get caught up in the middle and that you know there's no one on that table that seemed to not have a normal life but their life was okay and my life I wouldn't compare the problem or the problem that's continuing now with their ones because they're totally different 
But I think that's one of the main reasons I kept it in. And because I used to hang around them every lunchtime. Uh, sometimes I'd go away and hang out with some other people. But because of that, I... After that, I found it quite hard to express how I'm feeling. And try and be the happy one. Or at least be sort of... I wouldn't say happy because... Do I look happy? Do I? I don't know. Um... But yeah, and let's oh, talk about a lot. And when I went into college, I got, I became good friends with a boy, and we got along really well. Um, I hanged out with him because um, he had no one to really hang out with, or he did. But there was this one Tuesday during break. He has the exact same break as me. That he would be on his own. That's three whole hours. And normally my drama group would go off and I'd go off my own hang out with him. And as we got close we started to get to know each other more. And he was, um, I think one night I was messaging talking to him. And I found out that he was sad, he was, something was up. So I think for a couple of months um, we would message each other about once a week or once every other day just to talk. And if he wanted to tell me his problems and I tried to, my best to give him advice. I would. Now, I'm not saying I'm a good person to do that because I feel like any friend would do that for any friend. I was so I was so happy to help him. Honestly, I was. But when he sort of, I think, I haven't really met up here with him lately. I've gone with the drama a lot, but that's because he seems content with his life now. He seems good, which is really happy. So I felt good. But again, because he revealed all his problems to me, at that moment in time when he was revealing so much about himself, I didn't want to throw in my problems. I thought once this is, once he's okay, once he, once I help him and he's getting more, not better, but once his problems, not go, but once his problems sort of, okay, maybe disappear, I'll tell him mine. And hopefully, even with him just listening, then help and I made another friend uh, totally per this person I never met and this person has never really told me their problems but they've sort of been that like if they feel down if they didn't turn up to lesson because I go to one lesson with them always always sit next to each other and I would message them like I'll oh, hope you're okay Blah blah blah. Now this person didn't tell me much about what was up, or they did occasionally, and obviously because of that I couldn't help them. But I'm really close with them now, and I've only known them since September. But because of that, again I felt like this person is in a bit of a precarious place. They're still sort of going through something at the moment. So I have so many good friends. But despite me having so many good friends, I feel not lonely, but I always, it's like a drawing I did. I drew myself, well it was a really bad drawing actually, um, I drew myself with a face, with a smiley face on it. And I, honestly I am happy quite a lot of the time and nothing's up. But I guess this underlying problem has snuck up on me. I thought I've been, I I thought I've been managing well dealing with distress now. You know, I've gotten used to college life. I've gotten used to doing things on time and not getting stressed out about late assignments. Just doing them the day I get them, the day after. But even just saying I, I just feel like. If I talk a lot about myself, which I'm doing now, will people think I'm selfish? Even putting this up on YouTube, I'm like, oh my gosh, when I edit it, will I cut anything out? Because I feel like I'm, um, I'm an attention seeker, which I'm not. And everyone goes through problems in life. And that's just a thing that happens. And I know that people have gone through what I'm going through. And they will, probably. And that's the thing that I tell myself a lot. There's other people that go through this. 
you know, they're doing fine, so you're fine. But the doctor said, look, you need to get to the underlying issue here. You know, you don't want to get any more ill. I'm not ill. You know, this doesn't really affect my life. It does sort of... No, it doesn't really affect my life anymore. You know, it's sort of, I've just sort of gotten used to it as being part of me. But what's nice is that friend that I've become really close with in September, lately that person has been sort of noticing when things might be a bit off before I even notice it off. Which is really nice and I hope that I can say something to them because I really want to but then I don't want to because I like helping people. I do. It's just something I've been doing or I hope I've been doing. I really hope that I've helped those people but you know it's just sort of like I don't know whether people see me as a happy person. They definitely see me as, me as shy and that's part of the problem as well. It's when you're a shy person and people, when you're sad, then you become even quieter but because you're automatically quiet in the first place, people don't notice. The loud kid in class, once they get upset, people notice, which is understandable. But yeah, I thought I'd tell you guys that I've just filmed 10 minutes of me talking. Oh my gosh. So I thought I'd tell you guys that, um... I hope I didn't bore you too much with that. But yeah, I really need to address this. It's going to be difficult, but I need to do it. I can't put it off any longer. Guys, I was just talking about Leaf Green recently, and I've just come back on the game because I thought I'll play a bit more. And what I didn't realise was I was very close to last gym battle, Giovanni and Kingler. We have won. I've been replaying the games all the way through to Elite Four and what's embarrassing is I've never defeated the Elite Four in Leaf Green. I have no idea why, but I'm trying to do it this time around. Ha! Get this truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is our bird. He's actually a lot easier than I remember him, him being. I guess it's because we have a Kingler, we have a... I'll show you my team after. This is the original Game Boy where my obsession all started and it's still going after all these years. Right, I'm gonna show you my team quickly. Because I, there's some Pokemon here I've not really used. Right, so we have got Venusaur. Yes, I picked a Bulbasaur. I mean, I like Bulbasaur. I don't see any problems with him. Now, this next one is going to surprise you. Eradicate. Yeah, that's right. I have brought Eradicate all the way to last gen. And I think Eradicate can be... It's not the best Pokemon, but I do feel like it's a bit underrated. I mean, with that Hyper Fang, we all just... 84 attack. Hold on. So yes, it doesn't have really high attack, but if there's a Pokemon where none of mine are super effective, I always send Nutmeg out. Then we've got Jet. You've always got to have a Flying type. I didn't use Pidgey because I've always used Pidgey. I've never used Zephyro before, really. So he actually has turned out to be amazing. Drill Peck is amazing as well. I've got Mushu, his primate. I've had Mankeys before, I've just never fully evolved them. Then you've got Hitmonchan. Again, I haven't used it that much because of its design. I've never been keen on it. It's not the most powerful one on the team, but it has got a really wide range of moves. And then we've got Kingler who I've just never used, not because I don't like Krabby, but it's just one of those Pokemon I've sort of forgotten about and then I've just been like, well, let's train a Krabby up and see what King looks like and everyone on this team has been amazing, apart from maybe Hitmonchan. So I thought I'd show you that because I'm trying to complete all the games from Leaf Green that I got in order and that's also why I'm doing Pokemon Chapman, so I just thought I'd show you that.
So just before I end the vlog here, I want to show you guys something. Now when the models for 2016 were announced, we got a sneak preview um, of some of the items. Now I understand some items are coming more in the second half of the year, that's fine. But I've noticed some new ones that weren't in the preview. It might be in the second half of the booklet, but one of these is I want all of these is the Schleich cow family on the pasture now that won't be available till 50 days just look at that i mean i know it's such a silly thing but as i said just look at all that detail they've and the fence just this is what i wanted from Schleich coming into 2016 was more not realistic things but more sort of things you would find like exactly like strike feed for dogs and cats so I might actually I might hold on how on how much is it I might pre I might actually order that I think I might actually get that <laughs> well not now but soon um it's only two pounds or three and here's another one I noticed again as I said it's it's just the little details strike feed side of animals no, no, now I'll I am planning to get rid of that black table and I'm not just saying that because I want to make more room for this but I've been meaning to because I do want to create more floor space now this is something I would like I think it's available now yeah it's available now it's another thing because I've got these cows here and I really want the fence oh, I don't know should I get the fence or should I get Whatever, so we're going to scroll down, see if there's anything new. Anything I haven't seen before. Again. Oh, show, show dumping set. I also want to get that. There's so many things I want to get. But this is so cool. This is just amazing. So let's just, uh, hold on. Let's go to Schleich and let's look at the buildings. Because if I've been surprised by things I haven't even seen even in the previews there might be uh let's look at buildings I don't think they'll have any ones I haven't seen in the preview or in the booklet okay <gasps> what the fudge okay shike balm with animals and accessory okay again it says item is not yet available send you a reminder Oh my gosh, there's so many cool things. I will get that. That will be a lovely place to store some of the cows rather than down there or in the pink box. The only thing is, like, how big will it be? I'll have to check how, I'll have to check how big it is because if it's too big then... Oh, large farm. Oh, you're kidding me. Hold on. Oh my gosh, that is... Look, you've got the two, I assume you've got four cow paddocks, it looks like. Oh, but it's, oh, it's better than the normal price. But, oh, I, round of applause for Schleich. Next thing, I'm going to check out, let's check out some actual Schleich models, as in animals. Um, let's. Oh yeah, I want to check out the wildlife, um, because I don't think they'll have, I don't think they have any new wolf models, they probably would have introduced it. There's the Arctic Wolf, I was just looking if they were going to surprise us with any. So there is more to show, they are making a ewe leopard, this is, I guess he's retired now I guess. Hold on, is he, is he available? She? Oh, no, 50 days. We have to wait till July. So much cool stuff is coming out. Oh my gosh, I really want that. Now, I might be wrong, but I don't remember seeing this one. I think it's coming in July, like the leopard. So, let's scroll through some more. I will start collecting like, the fantasy lot. This is so cool guys. Right, I'm going to end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow.